Welcome back to Community Arts of Elmira. I'm Ron Dixon. I'm one of the board members here, and uh, uh, they've been very nice to me to let me be the house artist, so to speak, and use the building as kind of my own canvas. So we are in the midst of the second mural that I've been involved with. Uh, <clears throat> this is Lake Street, and it is an urban scene, and it takes place probably about 1905. Um, this started out as a small painting uh, from a postcard, and it, it got bigger and bigger, as many projects do, and so I decided to do the same trompe l'oeil technique that I used in the previous mural. And the idea being that you are part of the scene that you can feel you can walk into it. The perspective is what we call severe one point, but I raised the horizon line so that you are up high on Lake Street Bridge looking down onto the street with a <clears throat> descending plane. And the imagery and the people that you see are based on 19th century photographs that I have gleaned off uh, the internet via Google and so on. Most of the figures are people photographed during the Edwardian era, uh, mostly in Europe, uh, <clears throat> by photographers like Age, for example. And uh, I have uh, painstakingly placed them into the scene. Uh, they're gonna be painted last. Right now I'm working on the architectural components uh, based on the architecture that some of it, which is still standing in Elmira, which would be the right side of the mural, and the left side I've had to go with pretty much what photography I've been able to clean. The uh, perspective is done very simply with a single string and every line that goes back into space has to be qualified by that string. That's a, a Renaissance technique. Uh, you'll find this in Da Vinci's Last Supper, Raphael's School of Athens. And again, the illusion is diminishing space that makes the wall disappear. Well, like, like all projects, they take on a life of their own. I started this, it'll be three years ago in September. Uh, the drawings took me approximately a year, year and a half, and I worked on it about a day a week. Of course, COVID did cut into my time, uh, but I try to get a day a week in, and uh, obviously this is where I'm at at this point. I'm thinking I'll probably have this completed by Christmas. That's my, my goal, my hope, okay. I'm working on the last building here on the left, and once I get this all attenuated, uh, the people will be next. And I think once I start the folks, they'll, they'll probably take off pretty good.